Hi, my name is Sammy Alou. I'm 34 years old. I come from the United States and I've been living in Japan for nine years. I play a handmade instrument called the chopstick piano. I grew up playing piano since I was a young kid, six years old, classical and jazz music, improvised music, and then began writing my own music, mostly instrumental. And I've always loved street music. I've always loved playing the public, in public places. So I decided to get an accordion. A difficult instrument, but I was able to learn it well enough. But it still has a kind of honky sound. So I want to play a piano. Or something with a keyboard, right? But it's just a heavy thing, and I don't really like the sound of... Uh, I don't like the sound of digital pianos. A real piano has a much, much, much more real, alive, living sound, which is why I made this instrument. I want to use the, the raw sound of strings, and it just happened as evolution. I decided to make a simple instrument with one string, two strings, and then eventually now I have 29 strings. I can play it like a piano, I can also play it like a kuto Japanese instrument, which is like the harp. So it's a mix between piano and kuto. Okay, the scale is basically the white keys of the piano. You have seven notes in the scale as opposed to 12, which is what you have with the black keys. So take out the black keys, and I could tune it to any scale that I really wanted, that's as long as it's confined to the seven notes. This song is called For My People. I felt like it was a people-friendly song when I made it. Playing it on the street, I would notice certain points where a crowd would gather around. In the early, early, early days, this is one of the first songs that I made, I did notice that people kind of seemed to be attracted to this song. So it's for that one. I have a bit of self-taughtness in me because I grew up not really enjoying classical music that much. Certain things I would really get into, like Debussy. But in jazz I would play a little bit too, and I had a very old 80-year-old jazz piano teacher. And I also studied, you know, at the Berklee College of Music, got a major in composition. So I'm not self-taught. But after that point, I kind of discontinued my studies, but I've continued to uh, pioneer my own musical career, which is what I'm doing now. It started out as pure improvisation, and then out of that, slowly little ideas would come into play, little beats, rhythms, uh, little melodies, these little loops, material started to come out. And I would jump from one section to another section, and through that, eventually, would compose songs doing this every day, playing the same little loops, playing the same little fragments, material, and then eventually it becomes this whole piece, which is what the song I just played. Is, I mean, I have pretty much played note for note the same way now, but then I'll try to come up with a new song after that, and so I'm constantly shuffling between stuff, rearranging stuff, and just having fun with it, not playing the same way every single time. But when it comes down to recording, I do get a song locked down into a set pattern, so it's kind of both. If you understand what I'm saying. It's free form, but then it's like kind of parts of it are very structured. Odaiba Park in Tokyo Bay. There we go. That's where we are today. <laughs> Sammy was, I was just online looking for like, because we knew we'd be here for a week and wanted to find some more people. And I looked up Japanese performers or Japanese street performance and his video popped up of like one of the first searches. And I watched it and like, holy cow, like the music was like really cool. And I like was watching more closely and read the description and found out that he like made his own instrument. So I thought it was incredible. So I just wrote him to see if he'd be down to make a video. And now here we are. Hey guys, have a little audio today so we can get a little better recording than just our shotgun mics. So have a little bit higher quality music for you guys. So thank you, Kago. Thank you. <laughs> then we actually saw him sitting there by the bay because we were a little bit late today. Again. <laughs> and we're like, oh dude, that guy's got some sound recording equipment. We should like find him and see if he'll help us out. This is beautiful. 
What's up, guys? So thank you so much to Sammy for helping us out. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for yeah. going over and over, <laughs> letting us film you. Made you do it a bunch of times. So if you guys enjoyed it, we're gonna leave a link in the description for where you guys can find his music. Definitely, if you enjoyed his music, support your support your artists. <laughs> you know, <laughs> support the music, and I will be able to pay for materials for making new stuff. We can make more great music for you guys. Yes, for you. <laughs> and make more good music for us, so we can come back and film him again. <laughs> Next time we're here, see right. you next time. Yeah, pretty sweet. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and definitely be sure to check it, Sammy out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you guys so wish. If you enjoyed it, and we love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>